will I'll go ahead and I'm gonna give Shannon as much time as possible. So I'm gonna uh, hand over here to Shannon to talk about the table tasks. Hi, I'm Shannon Smith. I'm the technology director at Tuscola Community School District in Tuscola, Illinois. And I'm also the co-founder of Recess Tech, which is a technology educational consulting company where um, my mom and I actually go out. She's a retired teacher. We go out and train teachers how to use technology in the classroom. Uh, one of the Spinline Studio apps that we absolutely love to uh, demo for teachers is an app called Tabletops. And what we really love about Tabletops is the fact that it is truly an app that allows the teacher to use the iPad in this app to teach their students. So it's not a game. It's not an app to give to a student say, here, sit down and do this. It's actually something that I can use that is like a little manipulative kit that I can use to help uh, teach concepts in my classroom. And while it is on, this, on their scale of a preschool app, I find this can be used on an RTI uh, to meet lots of different needs of uh, different levels of learners, whether they're in preschool or even up to fifth grade. So uh, a couple things that I just want to show very, very quickly is the fact that this app allows you to cover your math curriculum. Um, it covers Common Core State Standards for math, um, as well as reading. In reading, it's really the fundamental com uh, Common Core Standards that it meets. But you can pull out different letters. And then once you pull out the letters, in the settings, you have the option to have some sound that will tell you what the letter name is or what the letter sound is. So if you're teaching beginning readers, this will help sound out the letter or the word for them. So if you do it very quickly, act. It will help them uh, learn what the word is. Or again, you can do letter recognition with it. So that's one of the things that I absolutely love about it. The other thing that I love about this app is that there are already sets um, for lessons that are built in. So if I wanted to teach students um, different phonemic, phonemic awareness um, using blends or different things, I can bring up a table and I can start putting letters together that I want to teach them how those all sound together. So very easy that these templates are already created for you so it's quick in the classroom. Uh, the last one that I wanted to share with you has to do with the things category. And in the things category, this is where it goes from preschool and really beyond. So I can bring up the money table and I can do a money lesson, um, bring up the pieces that I need to be able to teach a concept in math, or potentially bring up the base 10 counting blocks, dominoes, all kinds of manipulatives. So, that's truly what I love about this app, is that it's a little mini manipulative kit. I don't have to go to my closet and pull out all of the little ba Ziploc baggies where some of the pieces are missing because the janitor swept them up yesterday at the end of the day because they didn't get put back in the baggie. They're all there, easy, at my fingertips, ready to go, perfect for small group uh, title type of lessons or, again, response to intervention lessons where I'm sitting down with a small group of students to go over concepts that they need extra practice in. So, Great app, love it, and I love that it also um, meets the Common Core learning standards. So one more little check mark off my list of things that I have to do. Check. I think we're gonna turn it back over yeah. at this point. So thanks for having us on. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, Shannon and Matt.